And I should have, but I figured it'd all work out. So, the best way to make Daddy love you was to steal his money? I changed their filthy sheets and wiped their chins through two bouts of the cholera, and the last word Father said was... Leandra. I'm not looking for love. But at least I got the money. And here I was, just about to like you. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamelin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I could never turn against my own sister like that. You're a better person than Gamelin could ever be. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. I wish they had lived long enough to see us come home. Home. That's what it is, isn't it? I like saying that. We're not running away again. We're coming home. Are you unhappy here? I wish I could do more for Mother. Carver's death. It's killing her slowly every day. But maybe if we can reclaim some of what she lost, it will help. I'd do anything to get us back a normal life. Why did Mother and Father work so hard to keep you from the Circle? Would it have been so bad? I guess at first, I was just a little girl. They didn't want to lose me. And once I had learned anything, what would the Templars do to an active apostate, not just a mage blood child? It changed their lives, your life, Carver's, all because of who I am. Sometimes I wonder if it would have been so bad to be with my own kind, to serve the Chantry as Andraste demands. What do you think Carver would have made of all this? He would have hated this place, all the sneering nobles. He'd have gotten himself arrested the first day. And he would have wanted in on your Deep Roads expedition. Anything to make a name for himself. Sometimes I still can't believe he's gone. Can you imagine if we'd grown up here? Been nobility? Had grandparents who bought us all liege and silk dresses with lace petticoats? Father was a good man, but Mother gave up so much for him. Of course, if she hadn't worked up the nerve to elope, she probably wouldn't have been able to resist the Templars either. If we'd been born here, you'd be nothing more to me than a name the Circle kept in my file. Let's see if Mother gets us that mansion. I don't want to call anywhere Uncle Gamlin is home. <laughs> Has he moved that bowl of porridge since we've been here? It's been a year. I can't even remember what it was like to have a place of our own. I might even take the circle if they'll give me a clean bed and my own sheets. When I told your grandmother I was marrying your father, she threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life. Let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. The estate is yours. Why are we still here? Technically, the house is now property of the Viscount, since its owner died without an heir. If we went there now, we would just be squatters. But if the Viscount acknowledges our rights, we can get back more than the house. We can get back our name. Grandmother didn't want you to leave. She tried holding on to you the only way she knew. She would have been so proud of you. You're everything she wanted in an Amel grandchild. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first, but she would have loved you. All three of you. 
Carver. He was such a little boy. Never had a knee that wasn't scraped or trousers without holes. He was so young. Never got to be the man he wanted. I just keep thinking there's something we could have done. It's killing me. I, I remember that awful creature reaching down and... 18 years of loving and feeding and raising and... That was it. Blame the Darkspawn, not yourself. The Ogre would have been happy with any prey. It was my fault it was Carver. I miss him. There were four of us when the Blight began. It will never be over while there are just three. I've written to the Viscount. I have an audience for after Bartrand's expedition leaves. I couldn't do anything for Carver, but with luck, I could at least give us a home. Is this dwarven venture truly the only way? I hate to think of you going willingly into the Darkspawn's grasp. 